Hi everyone and welcome back to MOVE. It is day 28 where we provide ourselves with a little tender, loving care. Hop into something comfy and let's get started. Let's begin lying down today. Day 28. Don't hate. Feel great. I'm gonna work around my friend here. Come on down to your back. You can actually use a bolster as I am underneath the backs of the knees. This is a breathing bolster, one of a kind, but you can roll up a little Blanket if you like, put it under your knees. A little towel, you don't need anything fancy. Bring your hands to your belly. And as you start to get settled in here, relax your shoulders, draw them a little bit away from your ears so you start to feel a spaciousness here. And as you get settled in, just start to relax. And notice how you feel. Notice what you're coming to this practice with today. This is gonna be a gentle practice, but I think you have the opportunity to get a lot out of it. Daily movement isn't always about maximizing, right? It's not about like how many calories or like how much you can even regulate the systems of the body, although that sounds pretty great. The practice of yoga offers us this really great opportunity to ask not just how am I feeling, which we ask a lot here in the home practice and on this channel, but also how do I want to feel? Understanding that the way we move can influence how we feel which a lot of us know, but when you really start to put it into a consistent practice, or if you want to do the research, if you like to research, you can see the science behind this, of course. But for today, just take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, think about how you're feeling right now. Just notice, get a sense. And then just to plant the seed, just guiding you to think about Maybe not even now, but later, you know, how these practices can also ask us the question, how do you want to feel? What do you want to move toward? Slow and steady, begin to rock your head a little side to side, ear to ear. You're going to get a little massage, yay, on the back of the head. Again, close your eyes if you feel comfortable here. Relax the skin of the face, soften the jaw. How do you want to feel on day 28? Proud. Strong, present. Maybe you're impressed with yourself, making it this far incredible. Maybe you got off track, but now you're back on track. Present, maybe, celebrating how present we are just to be on this journey. Bring the head back to center stillness. Open the palms and send the fingertips up and overhead slowly for a nice full body stretch. Start to Point and flex the feet, draw the heels, maybe in line with the hips, point and flex the feet. Wiggle the fingertips, wiggle the toes. Inhale in here. As you exhale, just the right knee, just the right knee hugs in. Remember our softness, our soften practice. Find a softness here. Maybe drawing 
some circles with the knee, maybe rotating the right ankle one way and then the other. And then take your right hand to just in front of your right knee on the right shin. Bring your left hand to the top of your left thigh just to help guide that left hip point to stay down. And we're just gonna open the right knee as far as we can, opening up through that hip and then bring it back to center. A little TLC for the hips. Open and close. And the next time you open, stay there and breathe. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Option to maybe grab index, uh, take the index finger and the middle finger and the, and the thumb to the big toe. Breathe here. And there's an option to work to straighten the leg. This is just something to broaden your vocabulary. Do not have to do this today, just a little. You can have a little giggle at it if you like. If you are able to straighten that leg, if you are working there, see if you can work on dialing the right toes down, keeping the shoulders relaxed. All right, then slowly everyone, reel it back in from center, we know that, and then extend the right leg out long, bring the left knee in. Squeeze that left knee up in towards the chest, towards your heart space, find soft, easy movement in the hip, massaging through that hip flexor, maybe rotating the right ankle one way and then the other. If you're coming to the mat with some stress or tension, maybe a little anxiety, just start to slow down your breath. Make those inhalations long like we've been doing, those exhalations even longer. This is a nice low to the ground practice today, taking a break from being on the hands and the wrists and the arms and the shoulders. All right, left hand to the top of the shin, start to open up here, right hand comes to the top of the right hip crease. Shoulders are relaxed, breathe here. Notice how your breath moves you. Maybe you take the bind with the big toe, maybe not. And maybe you work to extend. We can also do this stretch with a strap or with a necktie or a dishcloth. I have some videos where we use a dishcloth to do awesome things. Never in my life would I have thought. Okay, bring it back in from center, reel it back in, and then we'll let it go. All right, walk the left heel over towards the left corner of the mat. We're gonna cross the right ankle over the left, and then we're gonna shimmy the head and the shoulders towards the top left corner. And when you're ready, grab your right wrist and send it up, finding a stretch in the right side waist, right side body, breathe. And then come back to center, unravel. Take it to the other side. Feel your yoga mat beneath you here as you find this stretch. I know it's a little cheesy, but just feel that yoga mat rising up to meet your back body. Use that image and know that you are supported here. This practice and I have your back, I really do. And I believe in, in the yoga mat, you know, having, having us. But you gotta show up, which you did today. Walk it back to center, hug both knees into the chest. Happy baby, grab the shins or the ankles. No need to push it here, just nice and easy. If it's too much to do both legs at once, just do one at a time. You can grab the outer edges of the feet the inner arches, or you can come back to this big toe bind if that felt fun and worth exploring. Everyone, lengthen your tailbone towards the front edge of your mat, so really active tilt of the pelvis here. Breathe. Inhale in deeply as you exhale, release, but keep the knees hugging into the chest. You're gonna bring the arms either out to cactus or to a Texas T, depending on your space. Inhale, scoop the tailbone up so the lower back is flush with the mat. Then exhale, allow the legs to fall to the left side. 
bring the left arm to the outer edge of the right thigh and turn onto your right ear. Recline to twist, breathe. Start to pay attention just to the temperature of the room or the space in which you're practicing. Maybe you're outdoors today, that's awesome. Just notice the temperature or the quality of air in the room as you breathe down into your belly. And then come all the way back to center and take it to the other side. Use your right hand to guide the left thigh down. Keep the left shoulder down and rock onto your left ear gently and breathe. Deep into your belly, close your eyes. And now just start to notice any sounds, anything that's part of your soundtrack, near or far. And then slowly, slowly, slowly bring it all the way back. And we're going to bring the hands to the backs of the thighs. Bring your awareness back to your core as you start to rock and roll up and down the length of the spine, getting a little massage. But see if you can today slow it down. And if you're like, uh, no, can't do that. Yeah, you will be. We're working on kind of connecting to these deep core muscles. See if you can slow it down and keep it kind of in control. There's some momentum, but it's not all momentum. Just play. <laughs> and then the next time you're up, cross the legs, lift the heart, sit up nice and tall as you relax the shoulders down. Nice and slow, working out some tension or tightness that may or may not have accumulated in the neck the shoulders, just drawing small circles with the nose and then allowing them to get larger and larger and larger. Be gentle and be thorough. Whew, mine has a little soundtrack. Okay, if you haven't reversed, go ahead and Make sure you reverse the circle, why not? And then bring your head over your heart, heart over your pelvis. Bring the palms to the front leg here. Just gonna find a spinal flexion here. So draw the chin to the chest, navel draws back. Round through, think cat pose for sure. Breathe. And then we'll rock all the way up. Lift the heart, long belly here, lift the chin, good. Exhale, chin to chest, round through, rocking in the pelvis. And then inhale, lift. Exhale, round through. Inhale, lift, draw the shoulders down, down, down. And a couple more times with the sound of your breath. Next time you're lifted, head over heart, heart over pelvis, send the fingertips out in front, plug the shoulders back into socket and send the fingertips down. Take your right thumb now, bring it to the center of your left palm and you're gonna use the other fingers to just guide the, ha guide the hand down a little more and stretch through the forearm. So often we feel like you know we have to have all these outside means to take care of ourself, to find tenderness. And this practice is just an incredible opportunity, a big old bag of tools to find a little tender loving care for yourself based on how you feel or based on how you wanna feel. Well, let's switch to the other side. Left thumb comes to the center of the right palm. Stretching through the forearms. Forearm. Good, then release. Fingertips come to the ground. Inhale, reach fingertips up towards the sky. Exhale, float them down. Notice how you feel. Inhale, sweep them up. 
exhale, float them down. Making any adjustments here for this movement so that you feel nice and tall in the spine. Work with what you got. Maybe starting to move the head. Just it's very simple. Inhaling to reach up and exhaling, float it down. Keep it going. See if you can make this your own, whatever that means to you. Maybe it's letting go of thoughts that are distracting you from the experience right now. Maybe it's getting into a little groove. Maybe it's just simply playing around with the head and the neck. Maybe you add a little affirmation. Maybe you add a different breath. Maybe your arms are getting tired, but you're sticking with it. Noticing what your thresholds feel like. Last one, inhale, reach for the sky. This time palms come together and slide back down to the heart space. Inhale in deeply, exhale to bow the head to the heart. Just pause here, notice how you feel. And that's it. So a practice can consist of a little TLC and go a long way. Say one kind thing to yourself here. I want to express my gratitude for you. Thank you for sharing your practice with me, this valuable time and your valuable energy. We have two more days of this series and you do not want to miss them. Come with an open mind, bring, bring whatever you got, come as you are, and I look forward to seeing you manana. Draw the thumbs up to the third eye. Take a deep breath in. Inhale together and bow. Exhale together. Namaste.